and keep your back straight and neck head straight in one line and let your whole body weight go down and gently close your eyes and focus your mind to this bell sound and follow the sound please and also while you're focusing to the sound mentally relax your body relax your mind and relax your breathing with your thoughts नमो तस् भगवतो अरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् नमो तस् भगवतो अरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् नमो तस् भगवतो अरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् homage to the blessed one the exalted one the fully enlightened one so dear dhamma practitioners in this meditation session we are going to mainly practice tranquility meditation and vipassana meditation samatha and vipassana so when it come to samatha meditation tranquility meditation in the beginning we try to calm down relax our mind and make our mind usable make our mind more clear and usable and tame the mind to to go to vipassana level so that is the purpose of the the samatha we get prepared our mind to practice the vipassana so when it come to tranquility meditation that uh, very nature of the mind itself always going here and there because that is what we used to to do and intensely mostly we we always think we always talking to ourselves in tranquility meditation we allow our mind to calm down relax and let just the mind to be itself without depending from past or the future so that will help you to recognize things as it is so in the beginning to practice this we take our inhalation exhalation as primary mental object so then focus your mind in front of your nose and your upper lip area and allow your inhalation exhalation to happen itself so in that case always remember not to hold or not to maintain the inhalation exhalation the way you want or don't try to interfere with its own nature just allow it to happen naturally and you are purpose should be intention should be to recognize the sensation and follow the sensation and through the sensation no this is inhalation this is exhalation so in that case always remember don't visualize don't think over it and don't try to to create yourself mentally and be very clear natural follow the natural process and let your body mind breathing to settle down so from there we go to vipassana level 
in the vipassana we keep the same inhalation exhalation as a mental object but from there you always have to remember to be completely free and get out of the all the patterns methods and the the depending from your previous experience no comparison so because in tranquility meditation we always follow inhalation exhalation the beginning the middle and end entire continuation of the inhalation exhalation and also you may experience some inhalation exhalation become longer shorter heavy soft like that so you recognize that all details but in vipassana you don't go to the surface level of information or the details you take the entire process as one you don't break it down to part by part you take the entire process as one and observe the impermanent and you see the impermanent within the inhalation exhalation so don't look with the idea of impermanent to prove it through the inhalation exhalation no you know the nature of the inhalation exhalation and you analyze without judging or without trying to prove yourself that whatever the 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 knowledge that you carry about impermanent you completely become free but through inhalation exhalation through the experience or the sensation or the feelings just try to see what you experience and the unsatisfactory nature so whatever the sensation or the feelings come out of this inhalation exhalation and see that always that feeling or the sensation always change and change and change and there is no moment to to settle down it always going to take you to something else take you to something else it never settle down itself and selflessness so from inhalation exhalation itself inhalation exhalation doesn't have any self or the any feeling or the sensation itself doesn't have any self that's why itself it's change and then your point of view subject point of view also there is no self because otherwise that uh, according to the the behavior of the inhalation exhalation how your feelings change why you cannot keep it the same because what you experience as a self also depending from the the inhalation exhalation so the inhalation exhalation depending from the subject and the the subject also depending from the object so you you recognizing this both you recognizing the behavior of this both and without getting into any view so from there you recognize that whatever the 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 feelings or the sensations or the recognition mental formations any form arise within yourself or whatever the experience that everything always changing and go to unsatisfactory nature and the selfless so just uh, practice a little bit yourself and keep your right palm on your left and neck head straight in one line and be comfortable with your posture so bring your attention to your body and scan head to toes three times yourself and say so patveva oh may i be well and happy three times Take a moment and think.
we gathered here in this moment to practice this ancient meditation technique. All the Buddhas, all the enlightened masters followed this path and achieved wisdom. So we also gathered here to accumulate that knowledge in this moment with this sitting. May my body become more comfortable. May my breath be more smooth. May no difficulties come to me. May all the success come to me. Also think for a moment. This is the last moment we are spending in this very lifetime. And detach your mind from all your past memories and as well as any kind of future thoughts. Just try to remain in the present moment, observing the sensation of your inhalation and exhalation. And later, recognize the impermanent, unsatisfactory nature and selflessness within the feelings. Bring your attention to in front of your nose and your upper lip area. And deeply and gently, breathing, breathe out three times, please. And find the sensation. And allow your inhalation, exhalation to happen itself. And just recognize separately, this is inhalation, this is exhalation. your mind go here and there don't worry about it and keep the attention to inhalation exhalation And follow the entire continuation of the inhalation exhalation. And also you may experience some inhalation exhalation become longer, shorter, heavy, soft, warm, cold. 
just recognize it. Bring your attention to the impermanence, unsatisfactory nature, and selflessness.
and bring your attention to your body. And observe your posture. We cultivate loving kindness and compassion in our heart and radiate it as a light through entire your compound, village, city, state, country, world, around this universe. Also, as far as you can through galaxies, other planets, stars, reminding yourself like this. So with clear intention, mentally repeat after me. May all living beings in this universe be well and happy. May everyone be happy and safe and may their hearts be filled with joy. May all living beings live in security and in peace. Beings who are frail or strong tall or short, big or small, visible or not visible, near or far away, already born or yet to be born. May all of them dwell in perfect tranquility. Let no one do harm to anyone. Let no one put the life of anyone in danger. Let no one out of anger or ill will wish anyone any harm. Expand the loving kindness and compassion beginning from your heart. Forward. Visualize yourself and send it as a light. to your backside. To your left side. and to your right side. Downward. And upward. to all six directions at once, like the moon, the sun, spread the light, spread the energy, without any condition, without any limitation, without any resistance, or without any judgment. 
Let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion from the bottom of it with the maximum effort to the highest. Wishing yourself, may all living beings in this universe be well and So, dear Dharma practitioners, in day to day life, we all are looking for happiness, freedom, satisfaction, and finally, liberation or the salvation or the Nibbana. So when it comes to that purpose, we mainly come to two kind of methods. So it's a mostly that especially when we look for the liberation or the Nibbana, we look for the religious methods or the patterns and we start to follow that way. So somehow to gain this all, we follow two paths. One is go towards the God or the creator. When it come to religions, mainly most of the religions based with the, the creator or the idea of the God. And there is a, another path that is not about the God the, we take that the, as main reason as ourself. So in Buddhism mainly, that's why it mainly talk about self-realization. And there are some, some other Hindu uh, religions that the methods, they also talk about the self. But somehow, mainly people think when it comes to religion, it should be related to the God. So that's why there are some arguments come. Buddhism is not a religion. Why? Because it needs to be with somebody or the creator. So somehow, when it comes to these two paths, the people who ever go with the God, and they go to church and you see that uh, they pray. There are many kind of rituals. 
and when it come to self realization uh, towards the 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 buddhism and some other practice when it come to the main purpose is the self and uh, it's kind of like have the monastic method it is not like a larger place to gather and pray it is individually mostly people separately practice meditation so these two methods that from the ancient time to today we can see and there sometimes when we look at the the this both sides there are some always up and downs because when it come to the god it always have the doubt another thing is the faith so you always depending from the god or the you you always go with the faith and uh, and sometimes we see from the history it always try to prove there is a god so why you have to why we have to prove because there is a doubt so that is something and when it come to self and we experience this is self we are we are responsible for all then what is the the disadvantage with that itself the self itself is the problem because because of the self it come the self view i believe there is i am and because of this this is everything around so then the the we try to look for the liberation from me or the self and at the same time the self itself become the hindrance so like that this both part having up and down but at the same time when it come to self realization it doesn't matter what path that you take if you look for the clarity because it is not the path itself going to take you to the destination remember that it is you whoever the the passenger or the traveler itself always it doesn't matter whatever the path you go you go towards the god or you go towards the self realization the the clarity that you keep within yourself step by step moment by moment is the most important thing so then rather than look towards something or somebody we have to look towards us and start to recognize and the very behavior of the the mind in this very moment so if you are able to recognize that because in in buddhism also there are there are many many gods but there is no such a creator or someone which shall create this everything and even you believe about the creator if you don't care about yourself then what will happen look at the the parents and children so take the parents as the creator that doesn't mean 24/7 that the, your parents can take care of you so then you also have certain responsibility regarding yourself if you neglect that thinking about oh my parents my parents and even in this this kind of situation come you don't put a mask or you don't uh, you know wash your hands 
and thinking about, oh, my parents putting a mask and then I'm not going to get the effect from this virus. Oh, my parents wash the hands. Oh, my parents eat, eat. I don't need to eat. It's not going to work like that. So then it always, it doesn't matter you, whatever the path you take, you have to look yourself how much you want yourself to, to find the freedom or the liberation or the salvation or the, the Nibbana. Oh, how much you in, in conventional life, the freedom, happiness, do you really do you really look for that because sometimes some people don't want some people don't want to be free they like to be a prisoner to themselves to their room their house their village their country and they are believing some people don't want to to go away from things So then if you try to open the doors and tell that people to, you know, go, oh, you are free, they are not going to go. And sometimes they have the fear and lack of knowledge. There are many reasons. It's like, it's like the bird keep coming to the cage, even if it's open. And sometimes they don't want to go away. They don't want to fly they feel more secure. Why? Because on time you receive the food, you receive the water, you feel security. And sometimes you are afraid to, to fly in this free sky, on this free sky. So this happened to us also. So then look yourself, rather than looking for outside path or the method or the pattern or rather than trying to having argument regarding the religion or the philosophy or psychology. So better we have to look ourselves. What you really want. And when it come to that, when it come to it doesn't matter whatever the path you take. There are a few things that you have to understand. Once you understand that, and it doesn't matter whatever the path you take, you are going to get into one point to recognize the freedom. It doesn't matter you believe the God or you hate the God. It doesn't matter you believe the self or you hate the self. There are four things you have to be very clear, you, you have to recognize. It is not from the subject point of view. It is not the from your side you look into that. No, the important part, remember this. You have to look how it is. Object point of view, how from itself it is inside you. Not you are maintaining it, you have to see how it maintains you. Then you come to a point to understand something. That is where you, you uplift your, your awareness. You become matured with something in your mind. What are those five qualities? Time, space, and the other thing is the, the energy, and the matter and the universal consciousness. So the time, don't look how you maintain the time because then the, you become the self center. No, look how the time maintaining us, how the, how the time govern inside us everything, entire universe. You know, that's why people sometimes calculate this entire universal behavior. 
even they talk about the big bang and they calculate how the time period and all these planets you know whatever you experience sometimes they say after another 20 years you're going to see this star after another 100 years you're going to see this way so like that this everything in this in this universe governed by time so then head to toes yourself each and every cell in your body remember the deeply governed by the time so before you come to the the concept of the god or the the self start to recognize it, 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 it is in a bigger picture we talk about you know recognize how the the time maintain your life your life not uh, not about other things another thing is the space even even the moment that the, from the birth even you come to the mother's womb if it is not empty, if that place is not available, this very tiny, tiny, you know, the beginning of your life cannot exist there. It should be available. So you start with the space. From that point, what happened? This, that your life depending on the space, everything around us depending on the space so whatever appear to appearance that it need the space but the thing is this when we see something when we hear smell taste feel even think the right way what happening to us we forget the space we forget the space even even everything ourselves that we will we we believe about the self but then when it come to the body and then you right away forget about the space and maybe you believe about the god when you think about the God, what happening? You feel that idea from the God and then the, the space going to be filled with the, the God. So then look, the timing and the, the space. Another one is the, the matter. So when it comes to this everything we experience because of the matter and heat motion liquidity and hardness behave in different different ways and the world the life that everything depend on the matter and the energy so when it comes to that, this everything, that's why it's called, this, you know, everything is energy. This everything governed by the energy. So those are these four parts, you know, and interconnected. So the time interconnected with the, the matter and the space and interconnecting with the energy, this all four interconnected. And other thing is the, the universal consciousness, universal awareness. So the universal awareness, when it comes to the mind, it related, related to universal awareness. Karma and dharma or related to the, the universal consciousness. Because there is no someone or something separate from this universe and exist separately another thing is 
that uh, from ancient time to today, look that 2,600 years ago, the Buddha taught and how to get into the Nibban. So any human being can do that. If they follow the necessary protocol and the, all the Buddhas and the follow the same path. In there and uh, uh, many other suttas, Buddhas mentions, it's like a old, very, very old road. And already with the uh, dirt and the uh, trees, and uh, the cannot cannot see the clear path, but the what the Buddha does, he clean it. He clean it and start to to bring that old path and make it available available for others to walk. So how he does, he, he do it according to the previous Buddha. So whatever the previous Buddha went, he also go through that. See, that means that the, the mind has the same kind of pattern. Because once you're able to go with that, you're going to get that result. So that's why even in, the, in this conventional life, the mostly when people look for that uh, personal success, this personal development, what it said, the main philosophy of that, Learn to follow successful people if you look for the success. What does that mean? Because then you follow them, they are part. And then you come to that destination. And even when it comes to the Dharma, mostly, and you, you have to have a good friends so that they bring you to the path and then you go. So then there is nothing that we personally can experience something when it comes to mind. We all we go all go through the same kind of pattern. That's why the dharma is unique for everybody. And the karma. So the it is also universal pattern. It is also it's not somebody doing. This is what call cause and effect. Causality, cause and effect is the universal consciousness. Mean that, as you know, many scientists find out methods. This all during this time period, look, they for, they try to find out medicine for this uh, pandemic situation, this COVID nineteen virus. It's it's, it's somewhere they, it, it, there is this something. So it. It's kind of like a, it's a universal pattern that once you recognize it, it then other things going to, to change. So then all this suffering, sadness, worry, unhappiness, this all come out of misunderstanding. Oh, maybe we don't know what to do. So otherwise, if you know exactly what to do, there is a way you can get out of the suffering. That is what the Buddha is teaching. So then, if you look, if you want to get out of the suffering, this is the method. So then, follow this. Then, when you start to follow that as a full path, once you follow that, you get out of it. And this is the method. Then do it. And once you do it, you're going to get this result. See, that mean we all have kind of like a the same possibility to gain. So if you able to recognize that, this four qualities within yourself, it doesn't matter whatever the path you take. In a certain level, you are able to understand how this everything govern and behave. And maybe this all the universe, this all the cause and effect, somebody can tell as good. And somebody can tell it as the dharma or the karma. 
but somehow finally for your liberation you have to come to you you have to take your responsibility you have to work yourself you have to practice yourself if you don't give that time if you don't give that space if you don't give that energy if you don't develop that matter inside you it never going to develop that dharma or karma or you cannot connect to that universal awareness or the consciousness it itself not going to take you like a tornado you know come and you know suck you it not going to happen like that way look at the day to day life the very simple little thing sometimes we make a mistake and then what will happen we have to go through hard time difficult time but then if you have the knowledge and the wisdom to get out of it and not to do it and you get you not going to suffer that so only thing is we personalize our experience and because of that we neglect that universal pattern or the cause and effect or the karma or the dharma but if you get out of it and start to recognize the behavior of this the time space matter energy and the the cause and effect if you are able to recognize these all five qualities and you come to a point to understand what is this everything and how these things work that when you have that wisdom that understanding that knowledge and you will see how to gain the liberation or how to attain to the nibbana so those are kind of like a fundamental you know the qualities to recognize yourself so rather than following or rather than believing or rather than holding so start to look at it look yourself look within everything whatever and start to look how the time conquer that how the time hold it how we become a prisoner to time you gain some wisdom and look at the the space how the space conquer us how the space hold us how the space govern this everything you gain some wisdom and then look at the behavior of the matter and see how the matter that hold us how that matter govern this everything you gain some wisdom and the energy look at the nature of the energy and see how it govern and see how it hold us and look to yourself and learn yourself to study yourself you will see you will see something and then you understand and the cause and effect no it's not belong to anybody or anything that is how it is so just learn without arguing without getting to a one side just a start to look and then you going to see something but ourselves what is happening even we see the time what will happen i am i am i am experiencing i am seeing the time i am i am holding the space i am holding the matter i am holding the the energy i am maintaining my dharma or karma so see we see this everything with the self centered mind or even if we follow the god or even we put the god first and then this everything we take as a part of the 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 behavior of the god so then we not going to see this properly let it be let the self to be let the god to be but start to observe 
separately, independently, and see the behavior of the time, space, matter, and energy, and the, the cause and effect. Then you will see and the, the solution. And that solution will take you to liberation or the freedom or to the, the happiness that you keep looking. So with that, I bless upon everyone with this good practice. May all of you be well, happy and peaceful. May no harm come to you. May no difficulties come to you. May no problems come to you. May you also have the patience, courage, understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life. During this time period, may everyone stay healthy and safe. And finally, may all of you attain supreme bliss of Nibbana. Sabbiti o vajjantu sabbaro ko vinajjatu mate bhavattantara yo suti diniga yuko bhava ettavata chami sampadam kunya sampadam sabbe deva nimodantu sabbe sampati jindiya sabbe bhuta anumodantu sabbe sampati jindiya sabbe satta anumodantu Sabha Sampati Siddhiya Idam Me Punya Kammang Asavakkaya Vahang Hoti Sabha Dukkha Pamun Bless you.